Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Hello again everyone and welcome back, it's day 11 here, we're about to kick off. We ended yesterday by exiting our client in the middle of a cutscene, so I'm not 100% sure what's going to happen when we start out here. I have a feeling it's going to have effectively skipped the cutscene, which feels a bit weird, but it wasn't intentional. I didn't realise I was going into a cutscene, I thought I was just having a conversation with wifey. In retrospect, probably my mistake on thinking that a conversation with your significant other would ever go quickly and easily. Yeah, is what it is. So I'm guessing we're just going to log in to be at the end of that cutscene today. If we do have to repeat, it's completely fine. I think I'm just going to do a step or two of Royal Trouble at the start before going to do the burbs and herbs because there's a bit where you have to run back and forth. So if I only have to run over there and then not back, that's completely fine with me. Talk to Vargas. Yeah, it looks like we skipped that cutscene effectively. Oh, I didn't press play. Okay, I'm gonna leave that for like 20 seconds. Yeah, it looks like we skipped that cutscene, so it's a bit unfortunate, but... Well, it, it's fortunate, but, you know, it kind of feels like rule breaking. It's hard to tell. All right, that'll do. Let's uh, sort this shit out. Talk to Gunhild. Yeah, because we have to end up running all the way across to Miscellanea, so... We may as well do that bit. Uh, sorry, to etc. This is miscellaneous. We have to go to etc. Castle, so we may as well go do that. We still have to run over there still. We can just teleport back in from via the Ring of Wolf. Apparently that shortcut is no longer blocked by the diary. It is level 55 agility though. So many doors. Okay, so we are done with that for now. We will, like I say, teleport back here after the burbs and herbs. But we're on the digging deeper step. So we should be getting our combat gear. I can't actually remember what the fight is at the end of this. Like, what we need for it. There's 59 Hunter! Finally came through! We can use you birdhouses. I will, of course, just finish these mahogany horns off. I'm not about to go and interrupt the middle of my farming. But, end of today and future, we'll be using you ones, which will be a lot cheaper. Because mahogany logs are like 450 GP each. In fact, we will go... Just missed a qualm that was on the floor. That's annoying. Time to collect our toad flax for the day and replant some runar seeds again. Fuck, what did I do wrong? Why don't I have fortis teleports? I have no fire runes. I'm sure I clicked the fire runes. Maybe I did it while I had my rune pouch open, so they tried to go into my rune pouch and then failed because I didn't have any room. <sighs> I just fucking teleported back to the cabbage patch. I meant to get energy. Fucking hell, man. It's like all over the place today. Oh, Dragon in Blin! World 506, I think. I don't know why I'm calling it out like this isn't being recorded, edited, and then put out hours later. I'm a fucking idiot sometimes. I guess that's why y'all are still around. Just laugh at the idiot. I just came here to bank. Get myself those fire runes. No, we'll come back here to sell up again after. I might actually just put some more money into miscellanea and up our profits from it because we've barely had anything in any cash in there and like until we build up enough cash to actually invest in some items there's no real downside to having more money in there first dead patch was the last one unfortunately i should have put those toad flax in there i wouldn't have had to go back to the g but we do i'm gonna take that warp scepter down damn it keeps just slipping i don't want to lose too much on this but renas for tomorrow I can live with that price. I'll buy two days. It's best it's been for a while. And we needed wealth, didn't we? I think we're pretty low on stams as well, to be honest. 
I'm gonna pause the timer just for a second. I need to take this jumper off. Okay, back we are. Alright, cash stack. Oh, we're down to 282k, but we did just buy 12 from our seeds, so that's kind of why. What do we need for this? I don't know what the fight is. It can poison you, so we want anti-poison. Combat gear, it just says, so I guess we'll take our Slayer gear, but minus the Black Mask for an Ezzy Helm. Okay, and a combat potion. Do we have supers? We do. A bit of food. I might need some empty invent space though. Okay. Oh, miscellaneous docks. I'm just gonna teleport again. I'm gonna use these charges liberally to speed up this quest. Should have brought regular energies too. Quite heavy right now. Has anyone ever been to the third floor on Miscellaneous Castle? Like, I just realised those stairs had a climb up option on the second floor. Obviously, I'm not gonna do it in the middle of one hour limit locked, but I'm kinda curious what's on the top floor now. If that even is the top floor, maybe there's four. Oh, is this the bit with the weird engine? Forgot about this. Oh no, I'm gonna need invent space here. Uh. I think we're actually getting towards the back end of this now. Like, once you go through these caves, there's a fight at the end. There's a cutscene and then a fight. Well, that's it, I think, pretty much. Uh, I actually have a bit of a list now of quests to do that I have developed. I've decided I am going to go ahead and do all of the prerequisites for Defender of Varrock so that we can unlock the Armoured Zombies training spot because I think it is going to be worth it. It's easier to get to than the Monkey spot, which is important when we start every day and end every day with birdhouses and we have limited time because we can't just like stay in one spot logged out basically and log out and log in but carry on the same day we have to go do the bird houses and stuff to keep our money up so i didn't bad at you logs did i i need to remember to do that mental note i think it's going to be worth it i think it's going to be more than worth it to go get ourselves the armored zombie spot instead because we've got a lot of bursting to do to get our magic and defense levels up. And as it stands, our best place to burst is the skeletal monkeys on Monkey Madness Cave on Apatol. Those guys are terrible. They don't even drop anything. Like, they're good for XP, but they don't drop anything. The armored zombies have really decent drops. They drop a lot of different tiers of planks, along with the axe, which is worth almost 2 mil. And, like, I think they have herb drops as well, and probably some runes and other things. So it's going to pay at least, if not make us a little bit of profit, it will at least pay for our runes, which are going to be expensive. And if we're just dumping all our runes in skeletal monkeys with no profit back, then we're going to get broke very, very quick. And we're going to be struggling to make money as the series progresses. So that's where my head's at. I've got like six different quests to do before we can do Defender of Varrock. Hopefully we don't have to do any room crafting. We need to get to level 35. I don't know what level 35 is. We're gonna have to do some room crafting. Sucks. I was hoping we could just get it from the What Lies Below quest. Where is it? Am I tripping? What the fuck's happening right now? Well, it's not 117 HD. I have no idea why I can't see the sea snake. Low detail? No. The fuck? That was the weirdest fight ever. Whatever. Are we just teleporting back out now? Oh, there's a rope. That was a very easy fight. Even if it was invisible. Pretty much done with this one now. So yeah, I've got a list of quests, but also got to get some skill levels a little bit. And still focusing on that slayer as well, of course. Not going to be making any diverging from that plan. It's basically two parallel plans now. We've got the Slayer plan, which leads us to our melee training method, our main melee training method, and we've got the Defender of Varrock plan, which takes us to our main magic and defense training method. And both of those methods that we're working towards will be self-sustainable without needing GP input, while still gaining us quite substantial amounts of XP. So I'm going to split my focus between both plans. I think I'm just going to go to finish the Troll Slayer task today, so it's out of the way. Although that being said, maybe doing it later 
is better because like who wants to see trolls two days in a row you know i'll just go back and finish it up at a different point later on look at that whole bunch of xp there we got up to 41 slayer i am gonna go ahead and deposit my 20k that i got as a reward for this quest Wow, look at me adding to the coffers. And now we have extra workers. I think I'm going to put them all on mahogany. I think this is probably actually better profit than herbs. I can't really tell. But let's see if we get our couple days worth of... Oh, I should go get an axe and just top up to 100% before I do. Oh, we still got that brimstone key as well. Totally forgot about that. Guess we don't need to ruin sim anymore, huh? Get rid of that. Oh, and we still had Xerix. We don't need Xerix. It's really annoying me that I can't sell this warp scepter now. Just gonna bought these because we'll probably end up with more in stacks. It's going all the way down on it. Need to sell it. All right, we're off to miscellane here again. I'm gonna make sure we're 100%. Right, we've got Renar seeds for two days, so we don't really need money. So I think I'm just gonna put 250k in. Top myself up to about 800k in the coffers. Leave myself with a little bit of pocket change. And then I might do a couple of little quests. I might try to go and get Creature of Thinking Strain done. Yeah, fuck it, let's do that. I'm actually really close to that wood cutting level now, too. It wouldn't be a terrible idea to go do all that quest. But I think I'll leave it, because we will just eventually passively get it from cutting here. And we're not in any rush, it's just an extra 12k defense for doing the Olafs. Which is nice, but it's not urgent. Okay, let's put 248k in, because I'm a sucker for balanced numbers. Right, what have you got for me? Okay, we did get our mahogany. I think that was like two days worth, not sure. We need to buy some U logs. I'm going to do that right fucking now before I sell anything. Then, is there any of this we can clean? Quite a bit. Oh, <laughs> got a herb law level 42. <laughs> Look at us go. Where are those mahoganies? Look at that, 147 of them. I'm just going to take the mahogany down slightly because it seems like a high price for them. Still get a very decent profit there. Okay, we're back up to 250, almost 300k. Not bad at all. And we still got those 12 renar seeds, so we've got plenty of profit to come from those. Right, what do we need for this? I think that was everything we needed. A level 51 experiment. So we might want a weapon on us. Just some low weight stuff. Nothing too fancy. Uh, as messy as the invent is, I think that's everything we need. Let's hop on over to Canifis via Fairy Ring. Oh, I need Telegrab runes. Is this not Telegrab runes? Yes, it's just not showing up because they're in the pouch. Look at that, no delay. I have to say, I do absolutely fucking love that change to Telegrab. The fact that you can cast it and not have a delay is incredible. It means, like, I was doing a Slayer task on Metal Dragons the other day, which you don't want to get close to, because you have your Prey Mage up and they can hit you in melee if you get too close to them. But you want to pick up the drops. So I was just, like, Telegrabbing the the drops in between attack cycles like you would elk something in between attack cycles and it worked exactly the same it was absolutely beautiful i was just picking up dragon bones with telegrab while killing another dragon 10 out of 10 change did i go the wrong way no have not spent a great deal of time in this building why is he following me fucking hell man creep wait oh is he like a companion where's scurry Okay, that's fun. I was gonna say, you don't just get to replace Scurry without asking for permission. And if you did ask for permission in the text box, that doesn't count, because I was space skipping it. You should know me better. When was I meant to use my teleports? Maybe not yet. Oh, I didn't bring any potions, what am I doing? I mean, it'll be fun. The reason I want to get this quest done soon, sooner rather than later, not for its own rewards, because there's fuck all available. I didn't even put my fury on them, an idiot. But because this is needed for Garden of Tranquility, which is a quest that has farming portions where you have to wait for things to grow. So I want to make sure that like I can get those done sooner rather than later, because I can't remember how long you have to wait for them. It shouldn't be an issue with us. Usually having to wait time for something to grow is just like, it's part of the course here on one hour limit locked. I'd like to see a real memory of this quest. 
Probably because it's just a follow a quest help a quest, but I see. Seems a bit. Okay, go to a furnace. Back to the castle. I think we're almost done. Ooh. You know what? I don't know. We could get like six turd flax from this. That's not worth nothing. Could be a nice bit of pocket change. It's going to take me like, what, 30 seconds? It just keeps bouncing back and forth, but I'm okay with that. It was like back to back. It's just there, 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 there. Easy peasy. Six toad flax? Five sapphires? Kind of garbage. Okay, we literally just have to pickpocket this guy. That's the quest. There we go, we've got ourselves the Ring of Karos, and we have dealt with all of that nonsense. Alright, let's have a look at Garden of Tranquility, see if we can get it started. We do need Varrock teleports though, so I think I'm just going to go to the GE. We can run over to the castle from there. That is a lot of teleports it's asking me to bring. Hey, yay. Hey, hey. Start at the beginning. I think I like the idea of, like, spending one day mostly doing Slayer and then one day mostly doing quests towards our Defender of Varrock. It'll keep things fresh as we move through the next little portion of this series. This is going to be the longest season by far, I reckon. We've got a lot to do. A lot to do. It's a long chat box. What? Does it matter what I say here? Wow, I actually do have to do it. Hey, there we go. Okay. We need a marigold seed and a rake. The question is, do the seeds sell marigolds? Yes, they do! Get in. What else do I need? Cabbage seeds? Uh, onion seeds? Gonna hop to get some more cabbage seeds. Alright. Go get a rake while we're talking to this guy. Oh, we need a fucking rake now. Wait, no, we've got a rake here. What am I doing? I don't need to buy one. So maybe this will be something to do to finish off as we do our farm run tomorrow. If we can get through the bits that are near herb patches, hopefully. Going to Port Fosmatis now. Oh, this guy's going to annoy me, I already know it. Oh, how the fuck am I supposed to get into a dialogue? Wait, is he actually just going to chill there and let me talk? What up, Mr. Feral Vampire? Can't stop me from charming a farmer. They call me the farmer charmer, they do. Oh, and we can plant seeds without even having to turn around as long as she doesn't move out of the way and ruin our day. Boom. Go get some more ultra compost. We are going to need more of that. I kind of remember just buying some to get us started. Okay, we got the hardy one now. We're going to have to harvest these strawberries now. Make sure we can double plant to be safe. Okay, the next one's in Catherby. We need a filled plant pot. Oh, ice mountain, not white wolf mountain. Fuck! Just use my last monastery teleport. Okay, so now we have to chuck our ring down a well. We've only got one more to do, actually. We might just be able to get that ready. And then we're at the point of, like, waiting for the things to grow, which means perfect. What don't we need? I guess we don't need all the different seeds, right? Oh, we did that. Gosh, this invent is a mess. What do we need on this section? We need this, this, and this. Okay, let's go to Berthorpe. In fact, I'm just going to get a dueling ring as well, so we can reset when we're done. Get to our birdhouse run. Hopefully this will only take a second or so. To... Oh no, we have to run down the table like that. It's kind of annoying. That's money. I think it's also a task. Yep. Which is why somebody dropped it there after they are done with it, but it's money. Oh no, I'm out of energy. We're almost done, it's cool. We talk to this guy and then we're waiting for all those seeds that we planted to grow, which we'll be able to harvest alongside our herb run tomorrow, which will increase the time of it, but we'll get the vast majority of this quest done. I'll probably finish it off and then go do the troll task. All right, that's it for now. Let's go do a little bit of a reset at Ferox and see if we can't just smash out this birdhouse run. We've not got a lot of time. Gonna have to be a rapid reset. We need to get the U looks in there as well. Get them to set four. I think that's everything we need. Let's just go. Oh my gosh, I don't have the crafting level. It's gone. There's no way I'm getting those bird houses. I'm gonna have to go back to Mahogany after all. Maybe we get some crafting levels tomorrow, who knows? I did not think that through at all though. 
feel like an idiot. Pull that combat bracelet up. Get a fresh one. Okay, folks. Bit of a weird end to the day, because we didn't end up doing those bird houses as we always do. But, we got a lot done today. We've got all these Renars ready to go. We've got uh, bird houses ready to go, although we don't have the level to make the next tier. We have a few different things planted that we need to harvest to get seeds for the end of that quest, but the vast majority of it's done, which is nice. We got Creature of Fink and Strain and Royal Trouble, both completed. Very nice indeed. Extra bit of XP there in Thieving, as well as 5k in Agility, Slayer and Hit Points. In total, just 25k again today, so not too major, but we did make a little bit of money, although it's not very easy to see because 800k is in the GE at the minute, uh, sorry, 800k is in Miscellanea at the minute, and 300k in Renar Seeds. So we're at like 1.1 mil, we bought some more wealths as well, so that took us down a bit. It's been a steady day, we got a couple quests done and that's the main thing, whenever we do questing days and the quests don't have like big XP rewards, it does affect our XP for that day. And that's basically what's happened here. But we did get a Slayer level as well, which is nice. Working up towards that 48 still. 2.5k to go to the next one. We should definitely get that off Trolls tomorrow. All in all, pretty decent day. 2.5 quests, I'd say, is a good rate to be working at. And yeah, we get to finish off Garden of Tranquility tomorrow. And then we've already done like... Once Garden's done, we've done half of the quest that we need to do then for Defender of Varrock. We need a bit of skill in still, but we've done half of the quests at least, which is good. It's a solid, solid, solid start. All right, that's going to be all from me on this one. Make sure you leave a comment and like on the video. Let me know if you're enjoying this season, if you like the idea of going back and forth between Slayer and quests and alternating days to keep things a bit more fresh. I think that's a good idea personally, and it's probably what I'm going to do, but if you disagree feel free to let me know. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I would absolutely love to get to 500 subscribers, it would mean a lot to me. So if you haven't already hit the sub, make sure you do. And if you have already hit it, I don't know. Thanks. <laughs> thanks. That's it. <laughs> All right, that's it for this one. Look after yourselves. Be lovely to one another. And I'll see you on the next one.